guys, this is Kim with Fatty Patty Scrapper. I have another DT project share for you. Um, I absolutely loved making this corset album. So, um, it will be for sale on eBay um, pretty much shortly after this is posted. So, um, if you want to buy it, you can. So, anywho, um, basically, um, this chipboard album came from Soft Crafters, and you know what, let me do the measurements real quick, because I'm not really sure. And all my wooden and chipboard and bellies, hold on, it fell underneath the table. Okay, here we go, see here my little rolly chair, I'm going all over the place. Okay. Oops, now I'm sliding back. All right, let me pull myself in. Okay, so, this is okay so it is basically 11 inches well probably about 10 and three quarters i would say and the width on the top is about seven and a half and then on the bottom it's about seven and then in the middle i don't really think it matters but it's about five i would say okay so um i used Tamara sent me um, the 12 by 12 Gabriel package um, from Bow Bunny. And oh my gosh, I fell in love with it. Um, it's really absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can pull some sheets. I still have some left over, so I'm actually going to be making quite a few other projects. Um, I made an altered paintbrush with it. Okay, so this is what I have right now. Um, so I don't know if this is all of them, but we'll find out in just a minute. So she sent me, I think it was like 24 sheets. So that's a lot. Okay. Isn't this beautiful? Um, this one's called uh, Gabriel um, Elegance. And I just love the butterfly on there. And I'm absolutely in love with these. Woo -woo. I tell you, I love, love butterflies. And it's um, super shabby, but this can be used for so many things. And um, I will definitely um, show you some of the things that I've created with it um, on my blog. Um, but some of them were used for other uh, DT projects. But anyway, let me continue on. This one is called... Okay, I think I got the back side wrong. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. This one is called um, Gabriel Stripes. And then, of course, we just saw the opposite side. I absolutely love how it has the ability to put a stamp in there. Although I don't really have any word stamps. Isn't that sad? Um, I really am not a stamper, but I want to be. I'm just not very good at it. So I've been trying to practice and I did practice a little bit with this album and I'll show you where I did that. This one is called Gabrielle Promenade. I absolutely love this color. Well, I love all the colors. I'm not going to lie. This is absolutely gorgeous too. Look at this. I love the little circles with the scrolls, the butterflies. These are all my favorite shabby colors, let me tell you. Can't get better than this. Okay, this one is called um, Gabrielle Ferrest. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Sorry, oh, I love this little um, queen crown here. Love it. Okay, then. I'm telling you, I actually had a lot left over, so this is, this is awesome. Okay, then we have, um, why do I always pick the wrong side? This one is called uh, Gabriel Dot, and then you get the dots, and then on this side is more of the cream colors, but it has every color in here. It's just absolutely amazing. Now this is the Bomb Diggity. Um, this is uh, Gabriel Cutouts. Look at how beautiful these are. Sorry, I'm going to... My stuff's in the way. But look at this. Gorgeous. And if you're doing like a, um, I guess a 4x4 album, this would be perfect. Well, actually, I would say like maybe a 5x5 or a 6x6 so that you have that room. Probably 5.5x5.5 is what I would do. Hmm. Sounds like a very good idea. Hmm, I might take up on that. Anywho, 
Um, it also came with a 12 by 12 coordinating, I think it was a 12 by 12 sheet of stickers. Um, I pretty much used them all, so I don't have that anymore. But I will show you the stickers that are in here. And then she sent me this um, gorgeous little cute um, add-on as a gift. Um, it was like a little journaling book already pre-made and it's totally stinking cute. Um, I'm going to use it as a notebook, um, you know, to keep my notes and stuff like that, especially for my, my DT. So anyway, um, what I basically did is I started off by, um, let me see if I can, you know, let me see if I can pull out just a little bit. Hold on. Let me see. Whoops. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry. I always kind of use this black background because, um, you know, things that are lighter will pop off the page and so you can kind of see it better and the camera has a uh, easier time focusing. So just kind of a like a little camera hint. Okay. So, um, I gessoed, um, basically the edges. Well, on this front portion of this, I gessoed everything first. And then um, on the other pages, oops, sorry, one of the pages is already falling out. On the other pages um, that are all solid, I just basically went around the edges of it with the gesso. And, uh, you know, you just buy your local craft store's gesso. Um, I always buy the cheapest one. But um, and this is one of the stickers, this beautiful butterfly. It already came blinged out with the stickles on it. I mean, you can't go wrong there. Okay, saving time. Um, she also sent me, I forgot to mention this too. I'm so silly. She also sent me these gorgeous little graphic 45 CDs, these little graphic 45 tags. And I call them bubble tags because it has like this bubble. And I know that's not really what they're called, but that's what I call them. It does come with a little, um, metal, um, clip, but, um, I really didn't need to use it. So, but I will use it in another project. Um, so basically this ephemera is, um, from my collection of ephemera. Um, and so I just cut it out, distressed them. I also painted on all of these with shimmers paints to make them pop. Um, because my printer is not the best printer in the world. It stinks. All my flowers were originally white flowers. These were gifted to me by Adele Naylor. And, um... I have some more that were, no, I'm sorry. These weren't gifted to me by Adele. They were gifted to me by Cheshire Cat, Jenny, with Cheshire Cat scraps. And um, the the little leaves here were um, actually given to me by Adele. And also this flower right here. This I bought um, from a, um, oh, it was from Hobby Lobby. I don't even know. Uh, this was Michael's. Um, and then this one was um, from, my friend Julie Gonzalez's store on um, Facebook called uh, Sassy Selections, I believe. And this little hanger and belly and this embellishment right here is from Saw Crafters. I absolutely love this. Okay, so I'm going to kind of leave this off just in the meantime. This little sentiment here that says memory that's also um, from Saw Crafters. All I did on this one was add a little more distress uh, ink with um, Tim Holtz Walnut Stain. Um, just to make it pop up a little bit more. This was just one of those like ones that you buy from your local craft store. Um, I pretty much buy everything Paper Studio because um, it's just cheaper. I hate to say it, but um, you know, I love all the other brands too. Like I love Petaloo. This, um, one of my um, fellow scrapbookers and swappers, she just sent me, um, her name is Michelle. She's so sweet. Um, she sent me these gorgeous little Petaloo flowers. I, I was so excited because um, I've never had Petaloo flowers. So, anywho, um, these little laces right here were from, and all of this little bling, the flat back pearls and these pearls were all from my friend Amanda um, Charlesworth. And she has an awesome little store on Facebook called Scrimp and Mommy. And... She is from the UK and she can get laces that, um, you know, we can't always get here. Um, or if they do, um, 
we have our local craft stores, but other than that, um, where I live, we just don't have a bunch of um, wedding stores. And if we do, boy, they charge way too much. So um, I'm just, I feel so great to be able to get these from her at a reasonable price. These, these um, right here were from, um, I think these were from her too. Don't let me lie about that, but I'm pretty sure they were. So, and um, these I got from the local craft store, Hobby Lobby, and I just cut them out. They, they came on a strand. Um, this is another uh, ephemera page from my collection. Um, this is, um, of course, another one of the flowers. And then this is the Gabriel paper. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I really wanted to use a darker photo so that it would pop up off this page. Um, now, these little... Um, laces um this is actually some old satin um not lace it's uh, sorry satin ribbon i got like a long time ago and so here's my belly band i made it into part of a corset um it was pretty simple to do uh right here i used the paper on top of another tag that i got um, i did paint both sides of the tags and then i tried to do some stamping but uh, they didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. So I covered it up with a paper. So this was a perfect time to use the scraps that I had left over from um, cutting these out. So this was a perfect chance to do that. So on here, I kind of, this is where you see my paint work. And then um, I was able to do this stamp because it was a wooden stamp. I realized that I have a problem with the plastic stamps. I have no idea why. I just got issues. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so here... Um, these are some more saw crafters embellishments and these right here is another tag and I put wanderer down here and then I left this one blank I don't know why because it's supposed to have a stamp on there but um, actually you could use it as a photo mat so um, and then I have some more little journaling sheets you know a little journaling card and this is um, from the collection of stickers this little uh, butterfly right here um, this little dress form is a wooden dress form from Saw Crafters that I um, painted with some gold glitter. Here are some more leaves from my friend Adele that I painted up with um, shimmers. I don't know. Sorry, these I use my um, little stamp. I don't know who this company is, but um, I, I did a little stamp. Oh, by the way, on these pages too, I went around, I went around here with that same stamp. So, um, same ink. Here is another one of my um, little, I don't know what you want to call it, um, ephemeras. And then here's another one of the Graphic 45 tags that I put a little piece of lace around and then I glued this little thing on here. And from Saw Crafters, it says Destiny. And then um, I just left this blank on the side and you can tuck other stuff in here. So um, this right here yesterday, um, and this little fence right here, I call it the candle fence, um, is from Saw Crafters. And this is just a flower um, that I glittered up from, I don't even know, <laughs> Michael's. And then again, my leaves from Adele. Here's some seam binding ribbon that I got from an antique shop. Um, another ephemera card that I made. Love it. And right here, I have the Graphic 45 again. Um, little Graphic 45 tag with um, Listen, and this one says Altered. You can't see, sorry. Um, okay, so here is, and you can't even tell, but here's another stickers from the collection that I kind of tucked over here in the corner. And I did it so that it could hold this in place. Um, this is another one of my ephemera cards um, that I distressed with, um, Oh, antique linen. And I just love these little wooden corsets from Saw Store. Again, um, another flower from Adele. And then this one is from Jenny at Cheshire Cat Scraps. Okay, so thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Adele. I love them. And right here are some doilies that I just got from the paper studio. And I glued it on there with my uh, best glue ever. And right here, another tag with, um, this is fabulous and this is Believe. These are both from Saw Crafters. 
and I just have it tucked in there and I have some laces here these are actually some laces that I purchased a while ago this one um here's another butterfly from the collection I just love how it's already layered and has stickles on it and everything these are just so awesome I can't even say um you know too much about that just that they're awesome I don't have to do any extra work right here I did do some embossing with um some antique gold embossing um so I basically try to do some stamping here um I distressed it out a little bit in some certain areas and then I just added on this little flower another paper studio flower Right here is another tag that I messed up, so I covered it up with a paper. But it came out gorgeous, so I'm okay with it. And it completely goes with the collection, so this came out better than I, than, um, I expected, so this is great. Then I did my wooden stamp again for journaling. And then we have another tag, and then again, you can, you know, tuck some photos in here, or whatever. I think some of them you can even tuck them in on the top. This gorgeous lace is again from Scrimpin' Mommy. And here is this tag and this butterfly is from the sticker collection. And just some Paper Studio flowers. This is from Saw Crafter Store. This is a beautiful sentiment banner. And then on the back, I left it plain um, only because, well, when you're storing it, you, you want to be able to store it on its back or, you know, on its side or however you want to do it. But, um, I just didn't put anything on the back so that it could lay flat. Um, here I did add some, um, I had a necklace, an old necklace that, um, was broken. So I went ahead and put it on a little, um, tiny jewelry clippy is what I call it. And then I attached it here to this stretchy, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like stretchy string. That's what I call it, I guess. And then I just did an arrangement of laces and seam binding ribbon and um, some of the other little um, satin ribbons in here. And this is what I came up with. Um, anyway, I hope y'all like it as much as I do. Um, again, it is up for sale. And I will have the eBay link down below where it goes and that's it i hope y'all have a wonderful day and i will see y'all later bye Mwah.